I am Flash Isaac, and you are welcome to the Flash Dinners Computer Studies Series for Junior YEG BECE. This is the episode 2, and if you've not watched the episode 1, I will share a link to read below. It is something you should not miss. I will as well share a link to the next episode. So, in this series, we solve computer past and likely questions for Junior YEG. At the end of this series, you should be able to answer any computer question you are asked. And remember, we are making use of the Flash Dinner's Bell Cell application, which contains Bell Cell past and likely questions. Install one on Google Play Store, Flash Dinner's BECE, or visit flashdinners.com for other versions. Watching on YouTube, the links are below to the applications, important videos, and a lot of resources that will help you. The first question says, the dash cable supplies electricity to the computer devices. It is simply the power cable. The operating system is the most useful type of dash software. Operating system is simply a system software. In computer, we have hardware and software. Hardware, software. Remember, a computer is an electronic device or any electronic device that is capable of accepting data, processing data, and bringing out the result as an output, which is garbage in, garbage out. Accepting input is done by input devices, keyboard, mouse, mic. Processing input is done by the central processing unit or graphical processing unit. Bringing out the result is done by the output devices, speakers, uh, monitors, screens, and printers. Those are output devices. Computer is divided into hardware and software. Hardware is the physical part of the computer. You can see the screen, you touch, the keyboard, the keys, the mic, speakers, all those, they are physical components of the computer. They are hardware. While software, they are programs which the computer runs on. Programs. For example, if you are using a Windows laptop, when you turn it on, you see Windows, they will see you are using Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, or Windows 11. As at the time of recording this video, Windows 11 is the latest Windows. So those are software. They are the programs your computer run. But look at something. Software is divided into system software and application software. You can call application software apps. They don't, they don't necessarily come with the computer and computer can work without them. For example, if you have a phone, you can choose to install Facebook or not to install. You can choose to install Instagram or not to install. You can choose to install game or not to install. Those are application software. The app you can install or you can uninstall. They are not they don't they are not core part of the system. System can work well without them. But system software, they are programs the computer requires to run. So they must be there for computer to run. For example, if you are using a Windows laptop without Windows OS, it you can't even run apps, you can't do any other thing. So, system software is the most useful type of software. Look at something else. For your system, for MacBook, Apple laptop, their operating system is called Mac. So, the system software is Mac. For Android phone, the system software is Android. That is the software. Without the Android in order to boot the phone up, you can't install app and do every other thing. So, the system software is required for the system to work. For iPhone, the system software is iOS. So there are software that are required for the system to work. So we have other softwares which are which are like related to the system software. Without them, the computer cannot work, it won't work. So system software is the correct one. Not application software, not management software, or even word processing or the others. Option C, D is the correct option. D. This one says. The process of copying data into a storage location is called writing. Writing is correct. In computer, there's something called reading and writing. It may not actually be the way you understand reading and writing, but this is it, or this is the whole idea. If this is a hard drive, right? If you are copying something into it, inside, you are putting uh, data or file, you are writing, you are writing. Then if this is, let's say, a, a storage device or hard drive, 
you are checking what is written inside. Like you are observing, you are going through them, scanning through the files, reading the documents. In that case, you are reading. So writing is to put information, reading is to get information from the storage device. Therefore, the process of copying data into a storage location is called writing. Formatting is the process of destroying, removing all the data. Delete everything, move it the way it was to factory settings. You are formatting. Okay? And the next question says, a small symbol displays displayed in the screen that represent files and other objects that appear on the desktop is called dash. If you've used a computer before, the desktop, you see like names of different different apps, but they will be on the screen. Different different small small design. They are referred to as icon. Icon. I will share icon for you below. The computer screen, you see the icon apps. So once you click on them, they take you to the main app or the app runs. And most of these icons, they are even uh, short cuts. So that is referred to as icon. They are picture or ideogram dis dis uh, displayed on the computer screen in order to help the user navigate the system. And this is dot matrix, desk desk, and in in jet and laser jet are types of dash dash computer devices. Desk jet, in jet, laser jet, band printer. Uh, laser printers, line printers, drone printers, dot matrix printer. All these are examples of printers. If you ever had a book or a file or your results, all those are printed documents. You have a blank A4 paper. You put it inside the printer, then it prints the information on the paper. You see the printed paper. So those are examples of printers. And this is computer is a system because Different peripherals attached to it operate dash. It is collectively what is system like the human system. They will say that we have respiratory system, excretory system, digestive system, and so reproductive system, immune system. Digestive system is all the various parts of the body that fight or that come together to digest your food to make sure food digests. That is digestive system. So that is what system is about different parts coming together to work collectively if organization is a system every other person coming together to work on a particular stuff that is system for you so option a is correct and with this we come to the end of episode two hope you found this helpful share with others